Hi guys, Todd here again with TW Home Show outside today and I'm going to show you a wise camera installation with a weatherproof housing. I think that would be pretty neat for everyone to know how to do, see how it works, see how it goes together. But first I want to show you where my plans are in putting this camera in an outdoor situation. Now you can only do this if you have access to an outlet and I do have access to an outlet uh, right down here and actually I had a wise cam pan up here underneath this hood but it wasn't fully protected and it lasted less than a year so I don't suggest putting your wise cams outdoors they're meant for indoors unless maybe this housing will work for us and uh, that's why I'm showing it to you today but I've already got a, uh, a plug for a wise cam right here and I'm just going to mount the mount uh, probably up here on this old housing right there after we get it done. So let's go back in the office and let's hook up a wise cam. See you there. Hi, big boy. What are you doing, big boy? There's big boy, our duck. There's Brandy over by the gate. They're best of friends now. Brandy likes looking for squirrels now. Big boy likes looking for worms and seeds. Nice, beautiful day out at the lake today. All right, like I said, I do have a Wise Cam. This is the Wise Cam V2, version two of the Wise Cam, your basic 1080p camera, the world's least expensive camera in the world. Uh, guys, these are 1080p, but you do have to plug them in with a cord. That's fine. They work, and that's all you need to know is they work, they work simply, and they work off the Wise app on your smart device. This case is in two halves like this. You don't use the stand on the wise cam. Just slides in there like that, folded up compactly. Lens and sensor is situated through the holes there in the front. It's got kind of a cap on it at the top, kind of like a birdhouse. It's got a notch in the bottom of the back for your cord to come out. And it just sandwiches together like that, guys. You've got a fully enclosed wise cam. And then it also comes with a, an adjustable mount, swivel mount, that screws in to the screw hole in the back of your case. Now, these uh, case enclosures came in a two pack. I'll leave the links below to everything here that we use today. So I got another case in here for a second wise cam and it comes with a little screwdriver along with a set of screws to screw this base together, this cover together. There's four screws in the back of each case. It says it comes with a 100% money back guarantee for 12 months. So they really trust that this case is gonna work for you for indoors or outdoors to keep pests and insects away from it and also protect it from some weather conditions. So let me get my app hooked up here and we'll go ahead and set up the wise camera first and then we'll enclose it stay tuned okay I've got the wise app open and you're gonna notice before we start this you want to put an SD card in the bottom here because once it's in the case you can't do that that's why I'm doing the setup first before enclosing it and there's the uh, setup button uh, below here to below the bracket on the bottom and then we have to attach our power cord as well before we get started in the setup process you'll see how easy this is if you don't already have one if you do you can skip ahead yeah, if you skip ahead you'll see me mounting it outside and uh, see how that goes so we're gonna plug in the micro USB in the bottom of our wise cam make sure you got the plastic sticky cover off of your lens there and we've got the wise cam open I'm gonna go ahead and hit the plus button to add a device at the top left corner 
of the WISE app and it says add device at the bottom, first choice. Let's select that. Select the device you want to add and it's going to be the top choice, that basic WISE cam. Plug in your WISE cam to a power outlet. The light behind the WISE cam will flash yellow shortly after, which it is flashing yellow in the back. And press next. Pull the base away from your WISE cam, press setup under cam. And then when you hear ready to connect, check that box. Like I said, the setup button is right here next to the SD card slot. I'm gonna hold that. Ready to connect. Okay, I heard ready to connect and I'll hit next. And then select your WISE or your uh, Wi-Fi network and enter your password and hit next. Scan this QR code with the camera. QR code scan. Wait, wait. Okay, we heard that. Check the box and hit next. And easy as that, guys. It says it's connecting already. So these wise cams, if you don't have one already, I highly recommend them. They're under 20 bucks each. You could have for a few hundred bucks have these in every corner around your house inside and out. I have several of these and I'm very happy with it. Like I said, you can't mount them outdoors unless you have some protection like this case cover here we're gonna to use today. Setup completed. But they work well with your Amazon Alexa devices and I'll show you that in future videos of the things you can do with these affordable cameras. Okay, name device, this is gonna be uh, uh, we'll name it Ducky Cam since big boy are duckies out there and hit done and uh, we'll hit finish and this is if you want the wise cam plus premium service um, I just like taking care of my own service with the SD card in there that's why I put an SD card in records all the motion detection and I can monitor that myself. So I'm gonna uh, just continue. I don't need that other service. And if you wanna share this app and camera with another person, you can right here. I'm just gonna say maybe later for now. And let's see if we get a live connection stream here. And we did with our new camera. All right, it's gotta upgrade. Let's upgrade it first. Press upgrade. I noticed all the WISE products, usually they have an upgrade. They probably have these stacked in inventory and they usually do updates pretty regularly, at least once a quarter. And they add new features, fix uh, glitches and bugs. So it's good that they're really on top of their software and hardware uh, that they sell to the public. Another good reason why to pick WISE Cam. So we'll go ahead, I'll fast forward through this. All right, guys, we're back. Firmware is up to date now. I'm going to go ahead and hit the back arrow, the top left. Log into our camera. Make sure we've got hookup. And we do. We have live camera feed now. Now, another thing I want to do is go into settings here while I'm there. At the, hit that gear, if you didn't see that, the gear at the top right corner to go into the ducky cam that we named it. And we'll go into settings and uh, where is it? Event recording. Uh, schedule all day uh, when it detects motion. I don't need it to detect sound. Uh, easy for me to say. All right, cam plus notifications. Notifications. Uh, uh, doo -doo -doo. Sound events. No. Okay. That's up to you what you want to do. Uh, we want the timestamp on there. We don't need the WISE logo to show on our recordings. We want it to record sound and we'll keep our status light on. And up here at the top, local storage, go into there. That's what I wanted to find. Local recording to SD card is turned on. That's good. And we're going to do uh, record events only. So select that, only on motion, 
and then we're going to format the SD card before we get even started with this. It's always good to format your SD card when you put it in the device. Let the device format it so it understands the card so you don't have any uh, mess ups down the road. Uh, format completed and we'll go back and back again and back again. There's our camera screen right there guys. So simple as that. We're going to go, if you want to see more detailed instructions on all the settings and features of the WiseCam, there's plenty of video, videos out there. I'm just kind of showing you how to quickly set one up today and protect it in this weatherproof housing in case you're interested. Now these weatherproof housings, the weatherproof housings, they come, you can get a pack of three of these for about $15. Then you're only spending about five bucks to protect each camera five dollars each so you got twenty dollars for the camera brand new camera 1080p high definition and then five dollars more 25 bucks and you can set make your whole set of outdoor cameras if you want so let's go ahead and unplug this for now put our stand down put our camera in here with the lens pointing out and the sensor pointing out that hole put the notch on the back pointing down that's where your cords gonna come out actually we're gonna plug our cord in first I'm just gonna unplug this for now plug our cord in and then put our back on and the cord just comes right out the bottom side there through that notch and we'll get our handy hardware pack with included screwdriver And it looks like just four screws will have this thing together and ready to go mount it. So if the, the screws just drop down in the holes, make sure you got them pointed in the right way. And just snug them up. Now I notice there's not any rubber seal in between the two halves. That probably would have been a nice feature for the company that makes these housings, but we'll see. I guess if it's tight enough, the rain's just going to run off of it. I want to tighten these up without stripping. Now the black uh, weatherproof housing sets like I got here aren't available at the moment on Amazon, but I'll leave links to a, a couple other brands. They're all basically the same, uh, but the set on there I said that was a three pack for $15 is a, a white housing. Unlike these, these are a black housing. So. Okay. That's it guys. Let me go get this thing mounted outside. We'll take a look at it. See how it goes. I'll let you know if there's any issues. So screw it a couple turns and then lock it up with the locking nut here and then put your camera ball mount onto the base making sure you can tilt it up the way you want before you final tighten it and I wanted to point out towards the duck area there I think what I'll do is I'll get my wise cam out make sure we got it pointed right log into the ducky cam there it is okay move it up a bit that way you get a little bit view of the
the lake too. We got some of that screen door area. See how that looks. All right, got it all set up guys. Now it's not like the pan cam I had out here, but they do make weatherproof housings for the pan cam as well. If that one didn't die on me, I might've got the weatherproof housing for pan cam. But with this small area that I have to monitor here, the ducky and the doggies, you get a really wide view on this wise cam. I'll show you when we get back to the desk inside the views that we got from this. But right now I just kind of wanted you to get a look at it. Guys, I'm very happy with the product I got here today. Showed you setting up the Wise Cam and enclosing it with the weatherproof housing. And the only thing downside about that housing is I think it should have an O-ring in between the two halves, but I think it's gonna be better protection than nothing. And uh, it should protect that camera for a very long time. I'm happy with it. I was happy I could show you the product. And maybe if you wanna get some, I'll leave the links down below to everything in this video today. But let's go ahead and take a look at the view we've got from our camera. Show ducky cam. One thing I like about the Wise Cam is it is recognizable with your Fire TV or your Amazon Show products. And you can just pull them up wherever you have those devices. Amazon, stop. So there's our Wise Cam. Ducky's in his little bath. We do have some buffering, but it covers that whole area out there and it's gonna pick up on motion. So even though you have buffering and live, when you get live motion out there, it's gonna to record to your SD card and you can go into the WISE app and see all recordings with no buffering. I just wanted to kind of show it off and show you how you can display on your Fire TV devices. And guys, thank you for tuning in today and I, very much appreciate you clicking in all my links for any of your shopping needs even if you just want to go research it helps me if you click on the links within my description below the videos and i really appreciate that and thank you for coming back again and i'll see you on the next video